Government regulation practice tries to cover the watershed when it comes to dealing with the government. It could be as simple as routine compliance with a regulatory obligation. It could be you're called and testified before Congress. It could be that you are trying to conduct some international trade and need to secure a certain license or compliance there in the international stage. It could be that you feel the government's gone too far and you want to sue the government. Whenever we intersect with the government, the government regulation group tries to get in there and assist the client in solving their problems. I would much rather have us think that substance always wins the day, but unfortunately, when dealing with the government, process does matter. And if you've been in and out of the government, you have a sense of the process, you know the process, you know the players much more than if you're merely an observer on the outside. So this is really the value of having government officials in all branches of government. For example, if Congress launches an investigation, those who've worked in Congress understand that process and how to present a client there, which is different than if one's in a courtroom which is different than if one is before an administrative agency, where if someone has worked at the administrative agency, they understand the process there. So the former government officials really help with process. It's not enough to simply be a former government official. There's many law firms with many lawyers with fancy former titles, and maybe they know one person and can call somebody. That's not really the practice of law, and that's not how you solve a problem for a client. You have to meet the government on its own terms, and that's understanding how they think, how they behave, and procedurally how you can hit them where it hurts. Government regulation practice works throughout the firm with a number of practice groups. For example, if we affirmatively sue the government, for example, if a regulation is beyond the statutory authority of the agency or what they're doing is arbitrary and capricious, we rely on the issues and appeals group to help us draft the briefs, handle the appeal and that sort of thing. If there's an investigation, usually investigations happen not just at Congress or not just in Washington. State attorneys general are a new threat, a new organized threat. And we work closely with the state attorneys general practice as well. White collar practice is one we also intersect with. We also advise major financial institutions. So our financial markets group is one that we intersect with. We tend to touch many aspects of the firm because unfortunately in the modern era, the government touches many aspects of, of modern business.